Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I am going to solve our exciting interview question. This was asked in the recent interview and I got this question from a LinkedIn post. Okay, the question is very simple. Write the result for row number, rank and dance rank for a given data frame. Okay, so data frame can be changed also. It is not like, you know, they will be giving the same data frame or the numbers, right? But you have to find out the row number, rank and dancing for, I mean, for any of the data frame, right? So let's try to understand the concept of data frame. I mean, uh, concept of row number, dance rank and the rank, right? So this is giving a data frame. Okay, uh, this is the DF, correct? So what if, if I just uncomment this, uh, I have to uncomment it uncomment this and if i go and do here display of df right now what will happen if you go you will see it is showing like 10 20 30 30 40 50 60 60 right this is a department number so i am saying hey find out the row number rank dance and right now they have not given i mean it is not giving uh, the partition by or order by like you know on what this we have to do so we will not be using here partition by we are using simply order by department number okay we assume that we have to use a department number based on order by uh, order by based on department number right so we have what we have done we have created a window right order by department number and we are calling and we are calling this uh, rank dance rank and row number function and doing over 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 and the window or specific whatever window we have defined we are passing over here right now if i hit the button if i run uh, run it so what will happen what should be the output so stop this video and think about it see let me uh, let me tell you the answer see in simple first if we go with the rank uh, with the row number what will happen it will assign a row number i mean it will assign a numbers serial in a serial order so since we are doing a order by on uh, on department number what so what does it mean is that it will it will first order okay it will first order it order this column in a serial order you know in a in a ascending order so ideally if i would have written this like 60 or uh, 50 this is 20 and if this is 30 now if i uh, you know if i run this now it it will make more sense to understand the question or the solution right now this is not in a uh, correct order right so what i am uh, doing first i am making in a order by you know uh, making it in a ascending order descending order based on our needs so by default is ascending order then we are applying a row number so what will happen it will go and you know uh, uh, do a ascend uh, do a row number assign some value some number based on the uh, based on the value so it will assign one here then we have 20 for 20 it will assign 2 for 30 it will assign 3 for another 30 it will assign 4 and likewise it will assign okay so first what i will do i'll just uh, you know uh, copy this and paste it over here and instead of uh, showing you or you know showing you every result i will do it one by one so that you will also get some understanding right so let me comment this code it is not all needed for now now if i run it okay now it is you can see here right see now it is coming in a ascending order this department number and then we have row number like one for 20 it is 2 for 30 it is, it is 3 for again 30 it is 4 40 it is 5 then 6 then 7 and 8 right makes sense what if if i use here a uh, rank right what if if i use here a rank we'll see what will happen if i use rank You will see here it assign a value uh, 10 uh, we have 1 for 20 it is 2 for 30 it is 3 and again for 30 it is 3 it is not assigning here 4 so what does it mean is that if the numbers are repeating if the numbers are repeating then what's happening it is it is not assigning a new value to them suppose if if we have another 30 also the again the value will be here th uh, 3 only 
now for 40 for a new value what happened it uses i mean it uh, it is assigning a, a a a new value called 5 a, in, a incremental value since you know it is not assigned here 4 so it is skipped 4 here and it assigned here 5 like we have 50 now again for for the for, for 60 you can say we have 70 uh, we have 7 we have 7 and suppose if we have 70 here then it would have assigned 7 8 9 value right so if i go and uh, you know put here 70 right and if i run this uh, uh, code again you will see it it would have, it assigned here 9 number right now tell me about the dancing so in dancing what happens it does not it does not uh, what i what i can say it does not repeat the number it repeat the ranks okay so if it is 30 over here and 30 over here it will assign here 3 and it will assign here again 3 but it will not you know assign here 5 rather than it will assign here 4 so what i will do let delete this code it's all not needed and uncomment this and run it yep you can see here we have three we have four and we have five again here right so it is sorry uh, my my bad uh, so it, before i mean initially i was uh, I, I i was correct so it is assigning here three and four and then it is not skipping the value sorry my bad yeah i i was i was right right three three and you can see here for 40 it is not skipping to five right it is assigning here four only correct now i will try to do some changes in the uh, in the question so before going to that i would like to introduce my courses my uh, my website geekcoders.co.in here you can see i have uh, uh, created a, long, uh, a lot of courses like master in data warehouse 50 interview question practice spy spark question this is the paid one 257 users have have they have uh, used i mean they are they are using this course they have enrolled into this course we have database certified data engineer course also 403 students have enrolled into it then we have end-to-end -end project end-to-end uh, -end fabric project we have python interview questions we have logic app course we have azure data factory course we have python course we have couple of courses we have it so i will give the link in the description box if you like if you think that hey this has to be learned uh, or it is useful for you then we can uh, you you guys can enroll into it and the fee is very 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 nominal as compared to other to, to, uh, uh, other instructor and all so uh, think about it again and then you know you can enroll it if you if you think it is good right now again go back to uh, here so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change it and i am saying hey do a partition by on basis of department number now if i try to run the code first of all it failed because a uh, window fun i mean this window requires an order by so i have to do a order by so suppose uh, in the question it is mentioned only that hey you have to partition based on department right now what you will do we can introduce here some constant one okay we can int introduce here some constant value also like one if it is not then we can also introduce here we can also write here department number only now if i if we sort it i mean if we run this now you will see the changement of the uh, here everything is one 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 and here we have one two why we have one two in the row number because see what happens when we do a partition by first try to understand partition by by means a group by a bucket okay so we since we have 10 10 having only one number so it created one bucket and uh, it assigned like one value 20 for 20 also we have for 30 we have two values so you know it assigned one and two Correct. And as we discussed, the rank and dancing wala thing, what, what does it mean is that it assigned the same values, right? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, uh, this 40 uh, comes under a different uh, bucket altogether. So, it assigned 1, 1 value. For 60, 60, you know, like this, we can say. Now, what if, if I remove here order by and if I do here lit 1 and if I run this now.
now you see again again the code is same only correct again the code is same so you have to decide on on these uh, you know partition by column as well as the order by based on that the you know the answer can change okay so try to understand whenever you are using partition by partition by means a bucket a separate bucket so it will i mean so think about take this example or let me let me put 60 again in some of the place one of the place see right now here what happens in 60 60 60 we have 1 2 3 correct why it is adding 1 2 3 here because it creates it thinks like this is a separate bucket 60 60 60 all together hence it is uh, giving you uh, giving us like 1 2 3 okay so for i mean uh, this is only the concept i hope that you understood and hopefully if you like you can take the paid courses if you love uh, and i will be uploading more interview questions in near future thank you for watching till here bye bye and we'll meet you in the next lecture